Hello and welcome to Nookrium Inc. I am Nook, and today we're going to draw Azeroth. We're heading into uh, Warcraft land today to try a, a video game map. I've done maps, of course, of real life things. I've made them up, and I thought it might be interesting to try doing a uh, map from a game. This is, of course, WoW. We're doing WoW Vanilla for this one. This map has gone through many different uh, variations, and of course, it's grown uh, quite a bit over the years. But I thought it'd be, we'll keep it nice and simple and just stick with Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor, got the Maelstrom in the middle, just the, the basic early days of WoW map. And uh, I kind of fast forward it a bit, get through the, uh, the pencil link, because you can't really see that on the video here. But we'll go into the ink and head into Eastern Kingdoms, working on the, the coasts here, and coasts and, and lakes and rivers. And we'll uh, just draw ourselves a map of, of uh, Warcraft land. So this is a, it's a very zoomed out version really i mean there's a lot of detail obviously in a map like this and so i, I had to cram in a bunch of uh like the mountains are quite small to kind of uh, squeeze everything in there and also because it's a uh, it's an mmo uh all the different zone walls are of course separated by mountains so there's a ton of, of little mountain ranges in this map so i did my best to try to make it look um realistic ish but keep it you know it's the proper map i can't change much about it so there's some mountains. You can see what I'm doing here where I'm getting in uh, just these tiny little mountains. They're not really proper mountain ranges, but they're enough to create a zone wall. And that's what we're doing here. And there's a lot of detail, especially on the early WoW map. That didn't really wasn't a lot of detail, especially up there in the northeast. There's no silver moon. I don't think silver moon was around in the middle of the days. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It's been a long time since I played WoW. I spent, I spent years, many years, um, well, a few years anyways, in WoW. Um, but it's been a long time since I played, so forgive me if I have forgotten a lot of it. Um, but uh, most of the mountain ranges are pretty tiny, just sort of beat the zone walls. But there's a few big ones there, like what we had in Ironforge, which I already put in there, and uh, just sort of separating where, like, you can you can kind of see the zones as we as I draw this out, and just cover up all the little um, all the spots where there are small little mountains. Of course, we got to get all the uh, what details I can get in there, like Thousand Needles and the Barrens. We'll have it all. In there and hopefully uh you can tell what it is just without having to name it but actually have it just sort of on overview map uh the ungrow crater of course is being, will be in there and uh, as far as towns i was debating what i wanted to do whether i wanted to put in a whole i mean of course there's tons of towns out there what do i want to put all of them in do i want to just stick with just the capitals um so i stuck with the the of course the capitals of each of, of everyone and I put in a couple notable spots, just spots that were notable for me, like the Barrens, Crossroads, or, or uh, Westfall. Just a few spots that, that were easy, uh, nice and open, and easy to squeeze something in, something memorable for me anyway. No more gods in there. And so when I'm making my cities, which I'm doing here now, I'm jumping into, this is Stormwind. And uh, I, I try to make each city look a little bit unique, a little bit like they are supposed to look. Stormwind looks like a proper castle. Uh, Ironforge is, is just sort of a... Um, in a mountain, right? It's more of a cave fortress in a mountain. Uh, there's no more gone there, which is sort of like a little hut there. Um, there's my windmill for uh, for Westfall, and um, let's see, what am I going? What are we going to do next? We're going to oh, Undercity up there, which is sort of just like a ruined, um, like it, maybe it was a castle one time, but kind of it's ruined now. You can see we got one tower there with some crumbling rocks next to it to give it that that ruined look, and. Um, we head over to Thunder Bluff, over in um, yeah, we're back over on the on the on the on the west in the calendar. We hit the Thunder Bluff and Ogremar over this way, which is a which is a castle, but it's a little more a little more evil looking, a little more rough looking, rugged looking. Squeeze that one in there. Maybe not evil, maybe not. <clears throat> and um, well, I gotta get some naming in there as well. There is uh, with Senjin. Uh, right in there, just south of Ogremar, which isn't much of a town, but you know it's a starting location. So put that in there. There's Crossroads, which is a memorable place for anyone who's played War, uh, played the Horde. Um, and I, I know that um, like Teldrassil is isn't much of anything, like uh, isn't much of a thing in vanilla, if I remember correctly. But I thought you know the big empty spot. I've got to put something there. Now I'm gonna squeeze in some trees. Now this is uh, another thing that's a little bit, um, I guess, a little bit um, of. Uh, um, I kind of winged it a little bit. I mean, some of these spots, clearly there's there's forests around, like Silver Pine Forest up there I just put in. Um, we've got the wetlands uh, and um, over there to the east, um, Elwyn Forest, of course, just south of, of Stormwind City. So I tried to squeeze those in kind of how they fit rather than just being like a zone wall and just kind of a, 
a blob where the where the zone wall is, it kind of stretches a little bit further. And now add some tree trunks in there, just like we do with forests. Add the trunks in there, just little dashes, and then I'll go in and add more details, just a little bit, just just very very little bit, just to make it look like a forest rather than just being a blob on on my uh, on my map. Um, another thing, I'll get some lettering in there because I want, didn't want to get too much detail down before I started getting my lettering in and and ruin all my uh, um, use up all my space. So Ogremore is going to go out there in the in the water. There's Senjin Village out that way. Um, so uh, another thing I did on this map that I, I like trying something new each time. And this time what I tried new is at the end, once I got done with this map, you'll see here at the very end, I took it into my uh, my photo program, my, my photo editing program, and tried a bit of the coloring that way and see how that looks. And I think I like it a lot better than, than coloring myself. Uh, we'll see. You can be the judge of this. Let me know how you think of it. But I think it looks okay. Um, you can see the Ungro crater down there to the south. Now it's time to start adding in little details. Well, we'll work on the forest first. Then we'll start getting the little details. And try to, uh, without, I can't, lay. I don't want to label the whole thing and just like mark all over it. But uh, winter, spring, I just put in there with sort of like a, a tundra -y look. Um, we've got the Badlands, which are very deserty and, and, well, rough Badlands looking. There's burning steps down there. Uh, I got... Um, Swamp of Sorrows, which I just put in there, swampy and and uh, do some my typical swamp thing with the kind of the grass sticking up through the uh, wait, squiggly lines, which is the typical swamp thing. We got Stranglethorn Vale down there with the forests, um, and let's see what we're doing over here. Um, we're in Silithus now, and I think I'm mostly working on just kind of adding in some grassy kind of lands because it's mostly grassy over there, over by Stone Talon, and um. Desolus is a little bit, I guess it's more mountainy. Um, Feralis, I put in the, the trees. There's the barrens, which is, I put in like these, I tried to put adding in the little dead trees. It's not a, it's not a desert. It's just a, um, just a grassy place, really. Uh, kind of a brown, grassy place. There's uh, Dusk Wallow Marsh, and then the Thousand Needles, which I thought to throw in there, which, you know, the, the, if anyone's played WoW knows what Thousand Needles look, looks like. Um, Shara's over that way. I just added it just there. And... We adding in here. I think what I'm, where where I'm at. Mostly just adding in little details. Um, back down to strangle th strangle thorn, and just a few more. Um, just little things, just sort of add add to it. And we've got to run into the coastlines here in just a second, and then we'll uh, I'll fast forward through most of that though. A lot of these are just little cities that are um, not worth naming, but. You know, if you've played WoW, you, you, you know them for sure. Now we'll get to the coastlines. And same thing as I always do is uh, one mostly solid line pretty close. And then we'll go in with a second line, which is broken a little bit further out to make it that coastline look. I'll, I'm speeding through this because it's probably the longest part of actually making the map is going and doing this. Um, but it uh, it certainly makes a difference. You can see right here with, with the West, Kalimdor doesn't have it. And then Eastern Kingdoms has it. And you can tell what, what it does to the map. It makes a huge difference. Uh, adding those coastlines in there. And this is the best way I've seen, I've found to doing it. There's one way you can add in like the, the first line and then you add little uh, horizontal lines off of it to kind of make it look like it's in the water, which does look good. I'm not very good at drawing straight lines. If I Maybe I could turn my, my paper, but I can't touch my paper while I'm recording this. All right, time for the Maelstrom. So we start in the middle and I'm just I'm just going to... I debated how to do this. Like whether I grab like a, a cup or something and, and, and draw around. I just freehanded it. Um... As best I could to make it look. It's only I can think of of making it um, feasible. And I penciled it first to make sure I was I wasn't uh, getting too out of control there. And then went over it with a pen. And it looks like I mean all it is is really just a bunch of lines going out there. And I thought I needed more a little more details. So I got a finer pen and added in the middle there. So it's a little bit more a little more to it. And that's really all there is to it. That's all I added to that one. It's just just uh. Um, just some, some curvy lines, basically. All right, time for some lettering. Need to, to, to label this place. We, uh, we'll, I'll do uh, the big one for uh, for Azeroth there in the middle, and then, of course, I'll name Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor, and then we'll, and then we'll have it done. Um, I will um, I will, I will uh, unveil the uh, the colored map at the very end here, and that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. Um, we'll get this thing finished up here we'll um and uh oh i should probably talk about um i didn't have i would give my, I, I drew too big i ran out of room so i ran, made it look more like a um 
rather than be like a uh, like a curly paper like I normally do, like a flag, like a banner, like I usually do my 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 labeling, my my uh, titles. Uh, I made it look more like it's a, I guess it's like a board that's been sort of uh, broken and sketched upon where the Azeroth is there, or maybe a piece of paper that's just been torn and, and stuck on it or glued on it. Um, but Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms, I have room for that, so I'll do my typical. Just do kind of a square, and then and then do the the, the flag banner thing. And uh, of course, don't forget your your shading on that. And same thing with Eastern Kingdoms. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it uh, looks better when it's all rugged. So that's what we're doing there. Okay, then we can add in some add in some details, make it look like it's a a ripped up piece of paper or something. And the banners are all rugged. And uh, same thing with Kalimdor over there. Just this is the super fine pen. This is like a 0 .00, 0 .005, I think is what this one is. It's super fine. And those are all there. And now it's time for the final thing, which is, well, no, second to final thing. I almost forgot I was doing this. <laughs> is the uh, the shading of the mountains. Um, always stick to the same side. So the right side is going to be shady. And I didn't put a lot of shade on this one. I, I kept it pretty... Um, not well, not a lot of shade, and uh, you can do it in various ways. If you look at, like a Lord of the Rings map, um, a Middle Earth map, he's, he put a ton of shading on there. So like it's it's more than halfway shaded on his mountains. So I thought, you know, I tried to everyone just different styles every once in a while. Which one I like more? I don't know which one I like more. I guess it just whatever map I'm making, just whatever I feel like doing, however much shading I feel like doing. So we'll get all the mountains done, and then and then one more part, then the best part. It's the uh, the the darkening of the southern part of the land. I think it just makes a huge, makes the best impact. Next to adding the uh, the, the coastlines in, I think it it it's a huge effect. And you can just see right now. You can look at Calendar versus Eastern Kingdom. How much of an effect it has just just by shading in just a little bit. That southern edge of of the island makes it stick out a little bit and gives it that that not three D look, but a more of a. I mean, it's a little bit three D, I guess. I guess if I was selling it, they call it 2.5D or something. I don't know. Something ridiculous. But there we go. That's all there is to it. Just erase those pencil marks. Don't forget that part. And then take some pictures. I will show off my colored one. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.